That is so silly. We are very happy with each other. Nobody's forcing him to be here. Like, if you want to walk, you can walk. Yeah. Fred. Yeah. So you really just go walk out like that? You know that $100,000 job you got? Yeah. I will call and get you fired expeditiously. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. So what's going on, everybody? What's happening? So let's jump into this little story here. This little story where Brett and Rose, uh, the Queen of Kings podcast, I guess you want to call it a storytelling or whatever they do. Um, they went viral a while back, a few years, probably a couple of years. They kind of jumped up. They had a million viewers, I mean, uh, subscribers on YouTube, like 400 something on like maybe IG or whatever it is, TikTok. But... The thing is, everybody seems to think once they cross over, and I mean that like to a white guy, whatever, that everything is so great. And I'm not saying that people don't have good relationships and all this and they cross over. I personally I don't care. I just think if you find somebody that you're good with, hey, I don't care, man. But when you make a few statements and make it like, oh yeah, this and that, then people are looking at you. So that's where we at with them, all right? So Rose came on and talking about how her baby daddy was coming after her, a baby daddy been trying to catch up with them and why she bailed on him and moved on to Brett, the white guy. And But now it seems like Brett, the white guy, hmm, it's not that shining armor no more. So this is where we at. So this is where you guys need to pay attention. Just check it out. We're going to talk about it as it go. But y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. And let's get this thing going, man. Let's see what these people are talking about. This young lady has some issues. I mean, you're going to see it. Child, he on, there's all these blog posts about me now. Suddenly hate pages about me because the baby daddy telling people that he been trying to reach me. He can't find my address. And that's why I moved to Hawaii. Because I'm running from him. I know you my line. <laughs> that's the crazy laugh, guys. And y'all wonder why. I, sw I had to. I switched total sign. I jumped shit, honey. Okay, this is when she said it. I jumped ship I jump ship I switched up you and your baby daddy don't get along I took your two kids and I left with this white guy now I don't know what the detail is with this but I do know those kids call that man daddy I do know that so let's get going yeah. after dealing with that yes I jumped ship, if you know what I mean. That's his name. And Brett married her, or met her, when she was 23, divorced with two kids. And you're probably looking at that situation in the background. She was 19 when she got pregnant, divorced at 22, met this guy at 23, and she always jokes about the fact that her baby daddy was a black baby daddy, and he's upset. Even with her newfound fame, she mentioned this. So Rose told me she wants to take a break. And in fairness, I kind of leave her here overwhelmed with the kids daily. Okay, so did y'all hear that? After all this, they don't have two more kids, all right? And that's the small one there. Now she wants to take a break from Brett, the white guy. Hmm. Now what then happened? What did good old Brett do that warrants uh, Miss Rose here to want to separate or take a break? I don't even know why people still call that when you marry, you taking a break. It don't make no sense. But anyway, you are here. The young lady has some issues. But um, 
she done made old boy think, you know, he just doing all kind of shit for her. I mean, he is whipped. I mean, whatever she wants, he's going to do it. So just listening to him try to explain what he did wrong. So this is why she need to take a break. Now, she ain't not take accountability for anything. It's all what he did to make her feel this way. All right? Now, check it out. Even at a time when I dedicated more of my time to be at home, um, I was able to understand what it's like to have four kids on your neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you were, and, at first you were fine, but then you start to kind of, like, get overwhelmed for sure, I noticeably. Mean, to be fair, I dipped out pretty quick because yeah. I think I did that for about two months. And mm -hmm. from cleaning up constantly to behavior shaping, like, constantly correcting and everything like that. And they're at an age, of they're always going to be at an age, but they're at an age to where they have a lot of energy and they need a lot of you and they pull a lot from you. And a lot of people on here were saying, like, Rose has, this is a mental thing, this is whatever. And yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll see things like that. They're, the more ambitious people are going to feel like they're either trapped or that they're failing, or that they got to have a drive to keep going at something, or that they're not succeeding, and they just keep driving and going. So you do see a lot more of those people publicly because those are more driven people. So now you see how he tried to explain her mental issue, that it makes her, I guess, a driven person. But he said other people seeing that she may have a uh, mental issue. So, I mean, her fans may have brought it up or whatever, but um, just pay attention to her demeanor and how she keeps, well, I would say interrupting, but how she keeps just saying little things in there, trying to make it seem like, oh, she just so tired and so everything just so much on me. Just kind of like you're trying to make it more than what it is. Rose is a very big drive of the things she wants to do, and she has a lot of responsibilities as well and a lot of things that take up her time and energy and space i'm going to give you give rose give you what you need for the amount of time that i, I don't want to say that take your time whatever because i don't want to think and whatever but i understand that you need that not doing thinking of pulling so much out of me mm. you need to get familiar with that because i'm going to as much as i can i still got for the next couple of months, I still got a lot. I got to get under wraps and move around and take them off your hands up to 90% of your time to where you can still enjoy yourself, get reset, and actually have time with your kids as well. Yeah. I've seen someone in the comments say, like, it's not about your happiness after you have kids. And that is the most insane comment ever to me because. The way that I feel is as a family unit, it's about all of our happiness collectively. I don't put my happiness to the back burner, you know, and it's all about my kids' happiness at all whatsoever because if I'm not happy as the mom, how is anyone in the family truly happy? You know, how do you wife if you're unhappy yourself and not pouring into your own cup? Much trouble on that. I see, listen, just listen to what she's been saying. Now, she's saying um, she's so unhappy. Yes, yes, she's so happy. But see, what I learned a long time ago is that you can't make no one happy. I don't give a crap what you do. Just like you can't make a person love you. You cannot make anyone happy. They have to do that on their own. Because in marriages, times are going to come where I don't have this much time or you don't have this much time. I can't do this. You can't do that. You need to have something that you do on your own that keep you happy, like a hobby or something, something going on. Can't just be the kids. They always tell you, you can't just rely on the kids and put all your focus on the kids. You got to have things going on. If not, this kind of stuff would happen. She had two kids. Then she had two more kids. Now you're overwhelmed. And now you're doing all this chatterbox Oh, I'm this and that and people saying this and that. But this is what you wanted. And now you're ready to walk away from it. I need to take a break. 
You got four kids. Where are you going? You going to take the other two and not these two? I mean, I'm, this is what I want to know. You going to take the other kids back to their father? Nope. Because you damn near moved so far away, he can't even see the kids. And we're going to get to that a little later. But this is wild, man. This is wild how she's trying to pander this. Even this short period. That's how I am all the time. See, so listen to her. So. But, like, this is how it is all the time. I haven't been allowing you to have it. I'm going to have to try. I'm, I'm going to give you some time. And I'm going to try to find a solution. Wrong to mistake, where mistake we buddy. Can. Fix these problems. There was a study that says like being a stay-at-home mom is equivalent mm. to like four working jobs. <laughs> but people often, especially people that are not stay-at-home moms, often downplay it. You don't get a break. Like when you work a job, you go at least you you know like some type of headspace. I get it. You're at work, but like some type of headspace. You know, when you're a stay-at-home mom, you don't go to the grocery. You don't go. Look how he You don't go on the like anywhere. But so. Now, her two oldest boys in school. So you're basically at home with two. And the other little boy, like, he might be around five, like, close to six. If not, he might be in school himself. So if all three are in school, you got just this one kid. So what are you talking about? You know, this single thing is like being four jobs. You saw she just making up stuff and trying to make it, like, make him think, like, oh, she just got so much going on. And now he's going to be the fool and say, okay, take this break. So she can go out and, you know, she got a million followers now. She's popular. She can go out and go hang out in the clubs and do all this stuff she want to do. That's what she really want to do. She want to be free to go hang out, do some IG stuff. Y'all know what I mean. Take the booty pictures, take all, do all, hang out at the pools, go look at a few superstars out there. That's what she want to do. Wait till she take this break. I don't know. My back hurts. This is me all day. Look at it. All day long. This is me. So a lot of a put lot him of down. I think stemming from we didn't move out here to enjoy life, but we chose some really bad, very small Airbnbs, and being in a space where the kids actually have none of their own space is going to be troublesome. To where they're in your face all day versus our four bedroom house that we had to where they could actually go upstairs or outside instead in here they're basically right now we're in the size of a slightly bigger hotel or even our apartment they like go to their is this even slightly bigger hotels like basic size hotel rooms to me now if you guys hadn't heard about them you know how she said that um if she's not happy, blah, 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 and blah, 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 whatever she was saying. She makes decisions. They go on a vacation to Hawaii. She wanted to go to Hawaii on a vacation. They took everybody, including his parents. While they're in Hawaii, she decides, I want to stay here. I'm not going back. Yes. Off a vacation. So being the simp that he is, he jumps up and say, okay, whatever you want. Now, they have made the move to Hawaii, living, now they had a four-bedroom home, they was, I guess it was a home, I don't know if they were rent, but I think it's a home, but they had a four-bedroom home, and now they in barely a two-bedroom apartment in Hawaii that looks like the damn hood, and they complain about the space. They had to get the place in within about a week or so, or something like that, so she made a split decision on the whole family that she wants to live in Hawaii. He made it happen, and now she ready to take a break. Ain't that some shit? Just the kitchen, I think it's, but it's probably still the same. But anyway, to be perfectly honest, I'm not expecting Rose to last long through this. I'm gonna give her some time to where she can grow herself and enjoy herself and be able to fix any problems that she has, but. You're going to need a tow truck to pull this thing off and get this tattoo for no reason. Right. I'm very thankful. Very thankful, Rose, for my family. Make sure that our family does as best as possible through this. I don't think you're going to last a week. Look how she's looking. Another day. 
if not two days. Look how she's looking at him. You have anxiety about medication. You have anxiety about being alone. You have anxiety about Okay, but my question airplanes. is, you have I'm not getting on no airplane. You have anxiety about You just got on a plane, flew to Hawaii with your little peasy head. Damn, her head is peasy. Why did you cut your hair? Okay, but my question is, how did you think that I was living for you, though? How do you do understand that I have my own place and was living? I honestly don't think, I don't think you're going to last a week, not today. All those anxieties mixed with the fact that... I think it's very cute that you take me as a joke. You're very dependent. On what? On what? Okay, that's that sister coming out. I'm at fault, actually, for not, you know, I, being there for a man and raising boys. I'm like, you need to learn to get through this and grow. Like so, I'm gonna give you six, but I do not expect you to last that long. Mm. Uh, okay. He's trying to. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not saying like I'm running to get a divorce, but you do understand that I did have two kids by myself before you. So I don't know why you're like, n no, don't test me now. Uh -oh. you're like, I don't think that you'll last or make it. I'm not going to lie. I'm very 100% very dependent on you for sure. That's a fact. But... I do need this time for myself. See? And just like I made a decision to move to Hawaii, I'm making this decision for me. I appreciate you, like, you know, being like. If you like. Hold on before I get on that. You see how he was looking at her, right? Let's see if we can get this real quick. Now watch out he, how you look at her. Like Look how you're looking at her. Because she made a decision to move there. They wasn't a, a family decision. She made a decision off a vacation. And now you ready to get up out of here. So I don't know if she want him to leave or is she going to stay there in Hawaii. I, mean, I don't know what, how, what this arrangement is going to be. But um, most likely she done something online. Somebody's paying her some attention and she thinking that she can go and do whatever, whatever with whoever. That's usually how it goes, man. But you're about to mess up with a good dude because somebody going to get old big dude. They see how well he took care of her. They'll get him. They'll get him. She'll come running back. If you like Little Caesars, you'll love a single mother. Your family comes ready-made. Who wants to deal with all that sleep deprivation if a newborn pays anyway? Just like Little Caesars, your woman's always going to be hot and ready. You get that same slice of pizza you get anywhere at a discounted rate. What do you mean at a discounted rate? Just pay attention to her. Watch. You was doing good until you said that you went too far. At a discounted rate, I'm drinking Dutch Bros. This damn shoe, $2,000. Look how quick she flipped. You're trying to steal my whole personality. You're a white guy from Iowa. Keep being a white guy from Iowa. Put me at a discount. Now, I don't know if that part was the skit, but it sounded like the girl a few minutes ago when he was telling her, you're not going to last. You see the attitude type? That's why I put it like that. But it sounds like the same person. So she may be mad for real. And he looking at her like, damn, man, you notice a skit? What are you doing? But she has a mental issue because he said it earlier. Look at him. Watch you play it off, though. My wife gave birth to my son five months ago. And after sitting in the house for a couple months, she decided she needed a vacation. So I booked a flight to Hawaii. 24 hours after we arrived, I let my husband know that I did not want to leave and I wanted to live here. I'm going to stick beside her. Because initially we were on vacation, we did what tourists do and we took a tour around the city. That way we were able to find where we wanted to live on the island. And so we did some applications for apartments and ended up closing on the one that we wanted. 
all within a week. The next morning, I called and quit my job. And I called the airlines and canceled my flight to make sure that I had flight credit so that I could go back to the mainland whenever I want to because initially the flight was round trip. Not anytime soon. Because the nanny failed to sign her contract prior to her trip to Mexico, we were not locked into a contract with her. And the kids will attend regular public school. This was not in the plans at all whatsoever, I will but... to the ends of the earth for my wife's Listen to her. My home is where my wife is. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Sell, sell, sell. Still own and operate our Airbnb remotely, and we have a managing team there in Arizona to take care of that. We got it covered. We got it covered. He's on his way back to the mainland today, leaving the kids and I to empty out our apartment. We'll see if he'll be back. Now look at her hair, guys. Look how much hair she has. Now, this the part that's gonna gonna crack you up. Now you heard all that stuff. He's gonna go back to the mainlands and like she literally hadn't left. She went there for the vacation and has not gone back home. Back to the I mean not the states, but in Hawaii. But gone back to I think Arizona. So He's going to go back, clear out the apartment by himself, and then come back. Only problem is, when he went, he ain't come back yet. So somebody get a little nervous that big boy's not coming back, and I think that's why she shaved her damn head. But this is her concern that uh, old Big Brett not coming back home. Watch. Now, before now, y'all heard her say, I don't, I don't need you, and blah, 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 but... Watch it. If you are new here or don't know the backstory, May 20th, we went on a family vacation, me, my husband, and my four kids. Um, we did also invite my husband's parents. It was a lovely vacation, so much that I did not want to go home. So I let my husband know I don't want to go home. I want to move here to Hawaii. So... He said, okay, that's fine. We talked about it. We figured out the logistics behind it. Everything was perfect. But he said he needed to go back to Arizona to just close a couple things um, there because obviously we lived there. We were stationed there. So we had things that need to be handled there. He told me he would be right back. He left May 28th. Today is June 12th. My husband is still not back. The only real thing that needed to be closed there is our 1,100 square foot apartment. We didn't really have anything in our apartment because we were trying to live like simpler. And so we just had a couple clothes. There was nothing really that he needed to, because we also own a home there in Arizona. So, why did y'all have a apartment? I don't understand. And a home? Literally cleaning the apartment, which we both figured out was like a one day job. Why would you have an apartment and a home in the same area? So I guess I wonder if that was like, I need to get away and go. That's where her little spot she go to. And he probably like, yeah, I get it for you. Yeah. Because it makes no sense. And you said y'all didn't have nothing but clothes, really. But it's been two weeks. While he's been gone, I did decide to shave my entire head off. Although I do have the knowledge that my husband likes women with longer hair. But you um, shave it. Why did you shave and your so head? So I'm a bit concerned that. I'm a bit concerned that maybe he's not attracted to this new look. Which, I mean, like, he's my husband. I thought that we would just go through ups and downs together. But at this point, it doesn't seem like he's coming. And I'm concerned that he left me in Hawaii with four kids and he's not coming. Oh, damn. So, um... That's where I'm at with that, you guys. I guess I'll keep you guys posted in future videos, but I really don't know what to do. I mean, I'm on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean <laughs> with four kids by myself. Now you're thinking about it, but just keep watching. Just keep watching.
brought in this in a circle. A circle. Now, I want y'all to pay attention, not her being goofy with a bald head. Pay attention to this apartment that they rushed and bought. Look at this mess. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Hawaii. I've been to one, well, with two of the islands, but I know the one that I went to had, um, I can't remember the names of them, but that's where the Pearl Harbor setup is. And the island has, like they told us, stay on this side of the island. Cause there was like some bad side, like a hood side. Like don't go over there. And that's, that's what I'm serious now. Don't go over there, but stay on this side. When I see this apartment, I'm thinking they over on that damn side, on one of those islands. Because this is some, this some hood shit here. Watch. Not twerking bald headed though. It hit different when you're twerking bald headed. Like, girl, sit the fuck down. Anyways, I am so happy because. Look at that shit. My man, my man, my man. He's on the way tomorrow. My man's gonna be here tomorrow. So I have, I will say y'all, ever since this hair like kind of grew back, it is not fucking given. Oh my God. <laughs> it looked like the hairline all the way back here. It's like a little dude. I wonder if she get scared, like nerves hit her. She thought dude wasn't coming back and start cutting her damn hair. Cause why would you cut all your hair off your head? Knowing your husband like long hair. But like, like say, you like a handsome boy. You look like a handsome boy. <laughs> oh my God, it is not giving so. A few girlies sent me some free wigs. Please, for me bro. to advertise. <laughs> because look, how I'm gonna be sitting here like this when I be doing it with my man. Imagine this way he's on the back. Oh boy. That looks very bald headed and fucking ugly. <laughs> it looks bald headed. <laughs> oh my god. So Rose told me she wants to take a break. That is. Oh my god. Okay. So let me fix this back up here. And. I want y'all to look at this chick, man, how she holding her face, her sticking this tongue out. She got that hood in her. You know what I mean? And that's why I keep trying to tell people, like, you got to, uh, you may have, he may have taken you out of the hood, but the hood is still in you. No, just watch it. Look, let's watch. Watch, 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 watch. It looks boy. Oh, my boy. So, Rose told me... She wants to take a break. And now, this is how we get to this part. So they still over there see a little beaded head, a little bit of hair and grew back. So he's been there for a little while with her. Now she wants to take a break. She is overwhelmed because they are packed in this little ass apartment that she jumped up and chose within one week of traveling to Hawaii on a vacation. Made a spontaneous decision for the family and simp boy brett went with it without considering nothing quit his job made it happen and now she ready to leave him guys y'all gotta start speaking up man i'm just being honest you gotta start speaking up you can't just allow somebody to make a decision for the whole family and it's not even a good decision y'all had a good thing in arizona now y'all packed up in this little fucking hood apartment in hawaii and now you, oh, you're overwhelmed because you don't have the amenities like you did in Arizona. Yeah, Hawaii is nice. The weather is great. But you don't have the same amenities that you had in Arizona to move around and do things. It's expensive over there. So their money didn't go the same. That's why they're in this little ass apartment. So, I don't know, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think this is uh, the beginning to the end. I really do. So, hey, it's your boy. 
and I'm up out of here. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share on your way out. And uh, it doesn't matter. The hood is the hood. Y'all take care. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.